Hey guys, it's Woody, the Unexceptional Gamer, and uh, here's another one of those that's not about uh, gameplay commentary. I'm just on a beastly team, and uh, you know, we we do our thing. But uh, uh, what this video is about, I, I had this idea from Hutch. Uh, Hutch put up, uh, Hutch had this little feud with, um, I guess, a subscriber or something like that, and uh, in that he said that um, he was still like young at heart at times and, and didn't always think clearly. And uh, it spawned this thought for me, like, huh. I'm going to do a video about what it's like to get old. So um, so here I am. I'll split it up into two parts. And the first one is the, the physical, and the second one is uh, the, the mental side of it. So on the physical side, um, oh, oh I, by the way, I should mention that I'm 37. So uh, um, some of you guys might think that's old. Some, some may not, but uh, yeah, that's how old I am. So this is uh, the perspective that I'm coming from. On the physical side, so I was pretty athletic uh, growing up, and uh, um, it, one of the neat things about uh, you know being young is that every year you have this expectation that you will be more athletic than the year before, and that continues longer than you might guess. So if you're 16, you might think your athletic peak is like 18 or so, but it, it is most definitely not. You know, you won't find many. Um, like high school football teams that beat college teams. Uh, your athletic peak is later than that. And um, so you might be like, all right, well, my athletic peak is at like 22 or, or something along those lines. But um, it's even later than that. Like, it, I don't think you'll find many professional athletes who peak uh, as young as that at like 22. Most of the guys, you know, they think about when guys turn in uh, the best years of their career. Oftentimes they're in their... Um, uh, their late 20s at 29 or so sometimes they're in their early 30s and uh, in rare cases guys even have these you know l later peaks right like like Randy Couture for example is probably a better fighter at uh, you know in his mid 30s than he was before that you know, some of the more complicated sports that benefit from uh, experience people continue to play well and uh so, so anyway, up through your late 20s and even early 30s, you can expect to you know, play this whatever sport that you're interested in uh, better than before, uh, assuming you can still devote the, you know, any kind of reasonable time to it. Um, so, so that's the, uh, the physical side. There's more to it, though. Um, one of the, the changes that I start to notice is not so much that I've lost a step, but um, uh, although you know, at, at 37 you kind of do, you know, that, that you, you start to you know, maybe not be the same athlete you were before, somewhere in your early to mid 30s, you know, 32, 35. But um, another thing that hits is your recovery time. So, and, and that hits even early. Like when you're 10 years old, do you even remember being sore? You know, do you remember like having to split wood with your dad or something like that and being so sore that, uh, you know, the next day you're kind of moving awkwardly? No, not at 10. But at 17, that kind of happens because, you, you know, you, you slow down a little bit. And um, uh, at 30, that happens even more. You know, a sprained ankle, like you roll your ankle when you're, uh, whatever, 15 years old, and in two days, you're fine. You roll your ankle when you're 30 years old, and in two weeks, you're fine. And that's like a different thing. You know, it, it takes a little while to, um, you know, to heal up. And, uh, you know, that, that's the recovery time on exercises, and that's also the injury time on, you know, whatever it is you've done to yourself. So um, uh, that on the physical side just about wraps it up. Uh, a lot of people say that um, they have a hard time uh, staying in shape, like you know, keeping the fat off. And uh, while there's some truth to that, I think uh, another part of it is I think lifestyles change around 30. You know, like oh yeah, I was skinny until I hit 30. Yeah, well, you know, did you also stop exercising or you know, change your eating habits? Did you go easy on yourself for snacking? Um, you know, don't uh, don't forget the other things that lead to being fat. It's not just age, it's partially, but uh, it's not just age. And then um, on the mental side, an interesting thing happens on the mental side. Like in in your own head, you haven't changed, right? You're still you. You know, the, the you that is you know impulsive and funny and whoever you are at 15 years old is still in you when you're 40. But um, you know, it, it seems crazy, right? Because your parents aren't anything like you. Your uh, your parents are old and dull and, and not there. But um, you know, I promise you, inside your parents' head, um, they're also you know kind of young at heart. They also enjoy being immature. They also, you know, like these things. So, uh, and another thing that happens is, so I'm 37. When I see a guy who's let's say 12 years younger than me, a guy who's 25, um, 
Let's go the opposite direction. It's 12 years older than me. A guy who's 49. I think 49. Whoa, whoa, that guy's old. He's like almost 50. He's 49. He, uh, you know, I have nothing in common with a guy like that. He, uh, he'll be dead soon. And what'd he do? Did he fight in Vietnam or World War II? You know, that, that's crazy old. But um, I'll look at a guy 12 years younger than me who's like 25 and think, yeah, yeah, we're the same. You know, he and I, we're, uh, you know, we're about there in, in terms of, you know, interests and things like that. But um, uh, there are differences. And uh, one of them, and this ties back into what Hutch was saying, when you're older, it's a little easier to sort of take things in stride and think it through and, and think before you react and have a little more perspective than, um, than you know, when you're younger. So I, I think when you're younger, it's a challenge to, uh, you know, hold your emotions in and, and not react really, really quickly. Whereas when you're older, even though you have those same initial reactions and you have those same responses, uh, it doesn't take long at all before you're like, yeah, whatever, you know, this guy said something, we've all been there. This guy did something, we've all been there. You know, he, he's just being impulsive. And, and you can let that stuff slide a little easier as, a, as an older guy than a younger guy. And uh, I think that's maturity. And it's not a bad thing, you know. Maturity in my head when I was 15 meant uh, someone who's incapable of having fun. And uh, maturity in, in my head now is someone who makes some better decisions and, uh, you know, doesn't cause trouble for themselves. You know, how many times have you gotten in trouble for yourself by, like, you know, running your mouth when you shouldn't have? Um, that stuff goes away a lot when you get older. You know, you, you kind of tone down all that talking, all that judging, and, uh, and respond to situations a little bit better. <clears throat> the things that you found fun at, you know, 15 and 18 years old will still be pretty fun to you when you're 40 years old because uh, inside your head you are that same guy. So uh, I hope this shed a little light. I hope you liked the commentary, and uh, until the next one.